Hello HP Touchpad users, today I'm going to show you a second method of reflashing the ASICS firmware on the HP Touchpad. Our brilliant developer James Sullins, aka JC Sullins in the forums, has informed us that there's a problem with the ASICS firmware on HP Touchpad. Now this issue will increase the battery drain during sleep. Now this is bad for our daily usage and our overall longevity of the tablet. But great news, there's an easy solution. Um, the bad news is that this will happen again over time, but if we run this every couple months or so, uh, this problem will pretty much just kind of disappear. And there's a couple easy methods of doing this, so we're going to show you them right here. Big thank you to James Sellens for showing us how to do this. Now, just before I show you, I want to mention that if you want to test your own battery health right now, in Android, you can get the free battery monitor widget app from the Play Store. Now, this will let you monitor your battery history during sleep. Now, you might want to calibrate it here for the type of battery you have. You can check that on the reference of the HP Touchpad's box and the little barcode at the back. There'll be information about that and links to the forums. Now, I'm going to take you through step by step how to fix this for yourself. This is method two. Now first off, we're going to need to boot into WebOS. I'm in WebOS right now. Right here in the Just Type menu, we're going to need to enable Developer Mode. Now there's two ways to do this. We can type the old school Contra code of up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, start, or we can type WebOS 20090606. Either of these will take us to Developer Mode. we'll need to have developer mode toggled on in order to do the next step. So here's the toggle in the upper right hand corner. You simply swipe it to on. It'll take a moment to turn on and then you'll be ready to go to the next step. We're going to transfer over to our computer and then come back again. Now that developer mode is enabled on our tablet, we're ready to install Preware. But before we can do this, we'll need to have Java and the Novacom software installed on our computer. If we've recently installed CyanogenMod, we should already have both of these and can go right to installing the WebOS Quick Installer. If not, download them both from the link below. First install Java. There's the big red button here to download and install it. It's very straightforward. Then download and install the Universal Novacom software. Go to Downloads and download it here. Once both of these are installed and ready to go, we'll download the WebOS Quick Installer. It's a link from WebOS Nation. Download it, and we're going to transfer it to our desktop. Before we can run this, we need to plug our tablet in with the USB cable. If we try to run this before, it won't work. We only need to plug the tablet in. We don't need to enable USB drive mode. Simply plug it in, and then run the software. We need to click on this little orb here, it's a little globe. Here is a whole menu of things we can search. We're going to get the preware and search. Simply install it here by clicking the button and wait while it transfers and installs it on the device. There we go, we're all done. We can now disconnect our USB cable and navigate to it on our tablet. Now that Preware is installed on our tablet, it'll show up in the download section of our apps. Simply click it to start it up. It takes a moment to load. There's all kinds of free, great apps to check out, so I'd suggest browsing the catalog sometime. Today we're looking for one specific app. You can browse the available packages, but today we're going to do a search in the upper right hand corner. Search W term. Install this great free application. Big thank you to the developer for providing it to us. Now this will give us a terminal that we can use in WebOS. Let's launch it. Now the first time we use this program, we're going to need to set a password and we have to do this to get root permissions. 
I'd suggest doing a simple password like 0000. Confirm it by retyping it 0000 and set the password. Now we have root permissions. Click Done. Here's our terminal. Now in the upper left corner we can always get back there by clicking that and going to Setup. We can also go to Preferences and increase the font size because by default it's a little hard to see. There we go. Let me turn it up a little more. Now what's handy about this is once we've typed in our command once it'll remember it and all we have to do is press page up. As you can see I've already typed it in. Now there's two different commands we can use. Both will reflash the firmware. Here we go. Here's the two commands. The second one will flash both firmwares. So either one will do and it's a little shorter and easier to type in. Simply type in the following. You can find it in the description of the video with all the information and links to the forum. So we'll simply type it in here, right here, and press enter. Now it can take 20 to 30 seconds to complete. And if we do the shorter one, you can see it'll flash both firmwares. We'll have to wait for both to complete. If we do the other command, it'll just flash the one. Either is fine. Now, it's important not to do anything while these are being flashed. Don't do anything on the device. Just wait patiently for it to finish. You can see the first one just completed here, and it's now flashing the second A6 firmware. So if you do the shorter option, make sure you wait through both. If you do the longer option, it'll only do it once. The choice is yours. And there we go. Firmware update complete and firmware update complete. Now our firmware has been reflashed. Our battery health is restored. Please like the video and subscribe to see the latest on the HP touchpad in the future. Thanks for watching, everybody.